Today we're going through the Deal Machine Map tab. First things first, we're gonna work this on web and then I'm gonna show you on your mobile devices on how to best utilize our Map tab. Up in this top left corner, you can see it says search for an address, zip code, city, county. So you can go ahead and type in or you can click on current location. If you want to do current location, you can do it two ways. You can click it here or if you exit out, you can easily just snap it into your location right there. All right, so you see all these properties. Just so you guys know, here's some key points. When you see this blue tag, means that you've added this property. When you see a black dot, that means that it is a property that you can choose to add, but it has not been added yet. All right, and then you see these lines right here. These are my driving for dollars routes that have been saved. So I know that I've driven these areas. Now, as you can tell by the red, it means that I have not driven them in a while. So we have the three colors, which is gonna be green, yellow, and red. Green is going to be that it was driven recently. Yellow is, hey, it's been a minute. And red is it's been over a year. Come on, we need to go redrive. So let's say I wanna redrive this. Well, going over to the options in the left, I can click on start driving and do that virtually. So I click on one of those properties near the route that I need to redrive and I press start driving. I can do virtual driving for dollars then. It's gonna pop up, it'll still record my route, it'll show that it's now going to be green. I can go ahead and start driving. If you wanna learn more about virtual driving for dollars, we'll have the link above so that you can learn how to virtually drive for dollars, especially for those of us in the Midwest when it gets real snowy and it's not fun to drive. So we're going to the big cojona of the map tab now. We had what were called highlights. We still have them, but we gave you more filters to be highlighted on the map. So say I want to go driving. I'm not quite sure what neighborhood I wanna go looking in because I'm not sure what the properties are like. I can go ahead and say, quick filters, I'm looking for expired listings. So these are ones that have been on the MLS. They expired, they couldn't sell. That means some motivation right there. So I'm going to see that these highlight over here on the side, I can see one over here, here, and they are listed right here on my sidebar as well. So I can then see, okay, look, I might wanna hit up this block over here because there's three of them within a two block radius. So I can go ahead and actually build a list from this because List Builder is actually integrated into the Map tab as well. Lots of stuff you can do in the Map tab. I know it's a little overwhelming. Take it one step at a time. That's why we're gonna go through it this way. So we have all of these different filters. So we have property type, you have price, you have beds and bath. In the more section, that is where it's going to get really intense with all the data that you can go ahead and sift through. So go through this, look through, you can have everything from sale history, rehab and repairs, lien information, you can have mortgage information. So let's say I have the expired listings in here, I want equity in this. So I'm gonna do equity percent is greater than 70, okay, and narrowed it down to three properties in this specific area. Okay, so I put that there. Say I don't want to have to mess with this later and go through and do all the filters again because I want to really focus in on this specific area of leads. I can go to the three dots right here and I can do save search and it will save all of the filters that I just picked out. So then all I have to do is go into my save searches and I can click on what I actually want to go ahead and use. That way it saves you time. Now, over here on the right-hand side, we're moving down. There is that little three-fold map icon. So you can show map routes on map. I highly recommend this and not turning it off, but you can. You can also change the property label on the actual properties that are showing up. You can show the property address, the owner's last name. You have a lot of options there. And then turning on this tap to add properties, if you are using us for mainly driving for dollars, I highly recommend turning this on. What this means is the minute you tap the property, it is automatically added into your list. When you're driving, I think it's just safe driving skills if you have it on there and you add it while you're driving. Say you have it off, what you would have to do is you would have to tap the property and then press add lead. If just that second click sometimes, 
is a little redundant when you're going through some areas and you're having to continue to move forward because you're driving and you don't want to look too suspicious. <laughs> so I recommend turning on the tab to add properties. And then below that, we do have the zoom in and zoom out buttons here that you guys can use. I did show that this is where the building list feature is here. Go through that in another video that you can check out above. And then here are where you can go ahead and see the property cards in there. We will have another video on property cards and going through all of the information on there. But this is the basic of the map tab. So looking at the map tab on mobile, it looks the exact same. You just don't have that sidebar that pops up, but you can pull it up and still see that list that you would see normally on that right hand side on web. Again, I'm gonna zoom in. I can see those little blue dots. So that is where I have leads already. And I can see all the highlighted properties from the filters. So on the map, you still have the squiggly line that is for building lists. Again, see that tutorial for more. Right here, you can see there's a camera button. And if you point it, which there's Sam, and we're inside of a building right now, so it's a little difficult, but let's say I go over here let's say I point at it in the building we're at right now. So you can see that it's gonna actually pull up the property that you're located in. So this is where we're located. So where you point the camera and then you can automatically just start mail um, because I already added this lead or you can add the lead. You can also start driving for dollars. So you can click and see your drives on here. You can go ahead and start a drive. So when it says drive for leads, you can do free drive, virtual drive, planned route, or you can drive from a list. We will go over all of these options in our driving for dollars tutorial, but this is the map overview here. Again, up at the top, you can search by location, or as you can see, when this is lit up blue, the little arrow, that means that it's already locked into your location. If you see it like this, it means that it's not locked in. Always make sure it's locked in so that way as you're moving, especially with driving for dollars, it will follow you as you drive. And again, here's that threefold map. You have all the same options. The tab to add properties, I'm definitely turning on. And here are all your filters that you can slide left to right. They are identical to the ones you see on web. I know this is a lot of information, so we do put chapters in here, so that way you can go back if you need to see a certain part of the map feature. So go ahead and check those out. After this, if you're on a roll, I highly recommend checking out this video here to help you in your real estate investing and deal machine adventure. And as always, happy deal finding.